today's video, I'm going to show you how to collaborate with your team. The first feature I will show is the ability to assign your cards either to yourself or other users. In order to assign, you will click here on one of your email cards or task cards, and the assignment feature will be available on the header of that card. In order to assign, you will click and you can either choose yourself or another colleague. Once you have chosen the user, you will see here now their username showing in the card view. In order to see the assignment in the board view, you will see their pictures showing up on the bottom of each card. The next feature is the ability to reply as either yourself, as a shared inbox or a Google group, or any other user that grants permission. Here, if I click on reply, I will be replying as my personal user. However, if I go right beside reply as, I can choose to reply as myself, another user that has allowed me, the shared inbox, or the Google group. Now we can see that this will be coming from Amber France and not Jasmine Cole. Another important feature in order for you and your team to collaborate in a smoother way inside of one easy tool will be the ability to compose as a shared inbox or Google group. In order to do so, you will click on the compose and you will see here the option on the bottom of your compose box to compose as a shared inbox or Google group. Here, I can choose to reply, for example, as my Google group email address, which is support at dragapp.com. The next feature is the ability for you and your other users to share drafts. In order to do so, you will click here on one of the email cards, click to reply, and once one of your users starts to create the draft within that card, you can then write up your draft and mention over here on the mention section for another user to take over. Have in mind that in order for them to access your shared draft, you will need to leave your card. If you do not leave your card, our collision detection will not allow other users to access that draft. Another way for you and your users to collaborate on determined cards is the ability here on the header of the card to copy the permalink and send it via Google Chat or any other method. And the next feature will bring transparency and efficiency also with inside of your boards, which is our activity log. The activity log is available on the right hand side of your boards on the bell icon. Here, once you click on the bell, you will see that it is divided by three main options. All of the mentions that I have been mentioned on and on all, I will see all activity from all of my users in Determined Board. Thank you and welcome to Drive.